Hello people, it's me, it's Anne, I'm back, and I have a little piece of loveliness that I picked up at one of my favorite thrift stores, and it's the Ohana palette from Disney, and I got lucky. This thing, other than where I've been playing with it now, was untouched until I like stuck my fingernail in it while I was still at the store um, but I picked it up the only thing that was wrong with this palette was that the little brush that supposedly was due to come with it disappeared and otherwise it was pristine now I kind of introduced this in one of my been to the thrift store haul, pa haul things but today I'm going to try and do something with it. So, I love some of the colors in this. I really do. Shiny, pretty colors. It's also got this really neat little mirror up here that, like, looks like a profile, well, a, a silhouette of our darling Stitch obnoxious little thing when he gets into a mood but one of the other things I like about this palette in particular is the sentiment that goes along with Ohana Ohana means family and family means no one gets left behind or forgotten and I'm pretty big on family, so yeah. That one kind of hits home with me. So, I've put most of my face on. It's, it's some tinted moisturizer and a little cream this and a little cream that and some powder. So, I'm not going to be doing all that stuff. I figured I'd do my eyes where you could see. And this is the Ruby Kiss Eyeshadow Primer. Yes, it looks very similar to the Primer Potion. It is not. It really isn't. It is not the eye, not the potion. And it's just called Ruby Kiss Eyeshadow Primer. So, no, it's not a ripoff of, you know, the, the potion. Don't look at me. I don't know who makes the potion. I think it's Urban Decay. But it's not one that I use, so yeah, I'm not very well versed. Sorry. I just stick a little bit on. Yeah, I've been using my white base from AOA Studios so much that I'm like going I've got others could we mix it up a little here so I figured I would pull this one out again and get to work it's not a bright white like the AOA studio but that's okay not everything has to be on a bright white base, at least for me. So, let's see, where am I going to start? See, that's the other thing. It's, um, do I want to start by setting this down with the cream color, or do I just want to go in with the big, bold colors? And I'm having one of those six of one, half a dozen of another kind of feelings today so let's just go to heck with it 
and put the shade down to set this that's in this lovely bone color and here it's called white sand now I don't know how available this palette is or is not apparently this was a um, exclusive through Hot Topic and cost somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 bucks. I paid five. Five. Just five. Five. And one of the things I like about living in Oregon is there's no sales tax. So if it says five bucks, it means five bucks. There's not all this other stuff that gets added in at the end. Unless you're buying sodas, because we do have a deposit charge here for soda containers and that kind of thing. So if you've got a recyclable container for drinks or whatever, you're liable to end up with 10 cents a piece for your for your drink. Which though is not too bad because we just take our little selves over to the machine next to the grocery store and get it back. It's like it's not a big deal. Let's see, what am I going to do next? I mean, there's blues, all kinds of blues. There's a really pretty green, there's pink, there's gold. There is just some amazing colors in this. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? I believe... I do believe I'm going to start with this pink in here called Hula. Now, it's got a little shimmer to it, so, but I'm going to put it right here to start this off. Now, I've only fiddled with this enough to know that The formula does not break me out. I just, I haven't really done any playing with it. In particular, so we will have to see how this goes. Okay, it's pretty, but the pink has not got a lot of color payoff. And there's a fair bit of kick up in the pan. It's a bit dusty. Yes, now I have hooded eyes, so when I open my eyes and look straight at you, I lose quite a bit of mobile lid visually. So, you know, you're kind of going, hmm. So, yes, I put my, I start my colors up well above this creasy line here. And I call it a creasy line because it's not just the eye crease. I've got a lot of creasy skin going on in there. All 
Alrighty. Slap some on the other eye here. Now, I'm going to do some of this as kind of a windshield wiper, and then I'm going to do some little circles that I heard somebody else call helicopters. But I'm doing this because if you watch, if I put the brush down fairly tight on my eye, I can move the brush and the skin will move, but it doesn't actually change the brush's position because my eye, eyelid skin is so loose. So, it's one of the issues of being 60. However, it's also an issue that comes from having been much heavier when I was a bit younger and having lost significant weight which means that now all the places that I had these nice little round fat pads that made my face look kind of like a full moon are now kind of droopy I mean, I've got droops, I've got wrinkles, I've got stuff. Now, I tend to wear a fairly lightweight foundation, even though it doesn't cover a lot. I'm not real big on high coverage, even though... I do have some things that, you know, most people try to cover up, you know, some texture here and there, and some redness here and there, and that kind of thing. Now, if you feel, even at wrinkle stage, that you want a full coverage foundation, go for it. If it makes you feel better to cover up all the blemishes and whatever else, go for it. I'm not that particular. Um, well, not really not that particular. It's just I'm not worried specifically if somebody can see my blemishes, any scars, any of that stuff. I prefer the lighter weight version of a foundation just because it feels a little less clumpy on my skin. It is seriously a matter of preference. If it makes you happy to wear lightweight stuff, wear it. If it makes you happy to wear full coverage stuff, wear it. If it makes you happy to wear lots and lots of glitter, go for it. It's makeup. It washes off. You do what makes you happy. Anybody else who's got a problem with it, tell them to step off. It's your face. It's your choice. Have a lovely time. It's just makeup. It washes off. It's not a permanent commitment. If somebody wants to give you advice about it and you didn't ask for it, tell them to step off. If somebody wants to give you advice on a tattoo and you didn't ask for it, tell them to step off. Yeah, that's a more permanent thing, but still, if you didn't ask for the advice, they got no business giving it to you. It's not their decision. Okay. I'm going to see. I'm going to. I've got to play with this green. 
I do. I just have to play with this green. This green is too pretty. Alrighty. Now this green is not very dark, but that's okay. I can always darken it up with something else, unless it doesn't show up as much as I'd like it to. And then we're going to like do something else. And I'm beginning to wonder if I'm going to be able to get enough pigment here. Now, most of the colors in here are Hawaiian words, and I am lousy at getting... The only thing I remember about Hawaiian is that the vowels are where you put your emphasis. And the green color in here looks like it should be Ka-U-A-I. But don't quote me. Yeah, the green is really pretty, but it's really, really, really pale. give it a little shot with my favorite mist bottle and we'll see if that changes anything. Since it is technically a shimmer. Well, that's a little better. Definitely a little better. We will see. Leave it all behind. Sorry about that. that was my husband messing with his computer and something jumped up and said, Hello! While he was trying to stay quiet while I'm doing my filming. Poor man. He always gets put upon. But his computer decided to play something that had sound to it and surprised him. I'll let him get back to that in just a little bit. Yep, spritzing that green shimmer is definitely helping. Yes, I'm holding up my hand. My shoulder is bothering me today. And if I want to get this done, I've got to help hold up this hand with the other hand. Okay, for anybody who is new here, I have several autoimmune issues, including fibro and lupus. Fibro, if it hits you at the wrong time, your hands will not necessarily work well. Your legs will not necessarily work well. It's like sometimes I can't finish my schoolwork. Yes, I'm in college. 
Can't finish my schoolwork because my hands refuse to type. Can't always get up and go places because of the just random, almost, exhaustion that can catch up with you when you've got fibro and so forth. It just chews up your world. Now, no, I am not asking for sympathy. I'm just telling you why I have to do some things the way I do them. Let's see. I think I'm going to put this blue shimmer in the inner corner because it's pretty. And that one is called Surf's Up. It's one of the few that do not have Hawaiian words in particular. I will decide what goes in the middle in just a minute. Once I get finished playing with what I'm doing now, I've got a really pretty gold in here that I think might serve. One second. This back together? All right, camera's back on, yay! I really didn't think you wanted to see me blow my nose, so I went away. And my hubby is once again saying sorry for the autoplay on something on his, what he was looking at because it surprised him and he got it turned off as quick as he could. I hate autoplay stuff. It's just like you can be sitting there minding your own business, reading something, and all of a sudden some autoplay advert jumps up and wrecks your quiet. It just ruins your quiet, you know? Foobar is the whole thing. Now, granted, I've got these shimmers on here now that I did not use, like, you know, glitter glue or anything with. But I think I'm going to put some glitter glue for the gold in the center, mainly just because I just got some. Just got some in. It's an off-brand. I picked it up by... Let's see, was this one on AliExpress or was this one on M? I think this one was on AliExpress. But I've been playing with it a little bit. And it seems to do okay. But what I want is for 
the gold that I'm going to use out of here, which is called Paradise, I want it to pop a little bit more than what the other ones did, if it will. So I don't want to just wet this. I want it to be a little bit on the sticky primer side. And I believe I'm going to put a little bit of that in the inside corner here. A little bit bigger than I wanted to, but hey. That's okay. Yes, I am having fun. I am having lots and lots and lots of fun putting this gold all over the center of my eye. And yes, I am playing. Yay! And now my doggie is playing at my feet. Off here, get some of the sticky off, get some of the excess off. Yes, that was fun. Okay, that's the one that had the blue. Let's kind of buff that around a little bit. Buff that around a little bit. And wipe that off because I used that one to pick up the green originally. Buff that a little bit right there and right there so that we don't have any like special lines hanging out and then I'm going to pick up some more of that pink and put it right back where it was because it seems to have gotten completely disappeared. I'm going to give it a little spritz. Just to give it a little more oomph. Kind of bring it down on the top of that green so that it comes down just a little bit. Pick up some more. Little spritz. Good 
to go, Annie. You just spritz the heck out of your mirror. That makes it much easier to see. Oh, yeah. Ding dong. All right. Get that pink right back up in there where I want it. Bring it down with right at the edge of that green on the outside. Drop that there. And then I'm going to take just a little bit on a finger of what's called Hawaiian Roller Coaster Ride, which is kind of a bronzy shimmer. And I'm just going to like dust right up here on the brow bone a little bit. Don't need a lot, just a little. It's like almost kind of a, is it really there kind of shimmer. La la la, let's dry off the mirror. La 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 la. Okay. So far, so good. Now, since my hands are being a little shaky today, I'm going to go off camera for a couple of minutes. And I'm going to put my eyeliner on and I'm going to put my mascara on where you don't have to listen to me cuss when my hand starts shaking. I'm being nice. Because, honey, I can cuss. I will come back and we will decide what lipstick is going to go with this. See you in a minute. Alrighty. I'm back. And there's the liner and the mascara and no cussing now anyway yeah the liner i used is something that i just picked up from elf it's one of their cream liners and this one is called teal tees yeah it was on one of their clearance sales so i figured what the heck i'll give it a shot it's like if I hate it, I don't ever have to think about buying it again. Because if it's on clearance, it may never be there again. Um, and because it was on clearance, it was like a buck. And I was, I was good with that. Anyway, I put the teal right up under the lower lashes and then I went under with a little bit more of that pale pink just to kind of zhuzh things up a little bit. Now I need to figure out which of these delightful colors I currently have in my collection here. It's going to be the one I slap on my silly mouth. Let's see. This one's called Pink Frost. What do we think? Let's try it. I mean, I can always wipe it off. What do we think? I don't know. I think it's a little pale, but so's the eye look. Let's see. Let's just drop a little something else on here. A little something something. A little something something. This one is an LA Girls, LA Colors, 
The other one was an LA Colors. That one was Pink Frost. This one is Posh. Oh yeah, much better. Just drop the two together and go for it. That looks much better. A little more color. Yeah, I know. I've got on a red cami that's showing, but you know, I've got pale colors on my eyes, so I now have a pale color on my mouth. Well, then again, looking back at the monitor, you probably aren't seeing that little red cami that's sticking out of my blue shirt. So, anyway, what do you think? Now, the Ohana palette. Dusty. Very dusty, very crumbly. Very crumbly, very dusty. If it had not been at a thrift store and only five bucks, I do not think that if I had found it at a Hot Topic or wherever else it was being sold, even absolutely brand new, if I'd been able to swatch the colors and feel the formula, I don't know that I would have bought it. I like the color story. The color story is very pretty. But I don't think the formula is wonderful. I mean, I had all the pans that I used were just full of crumble. I didn't get a lot of fallout, but then I was doing a whole lot of tap off on the way over. So, going from the, the palette to the eye. The finished look, pretty good, but I had to work way too hard to get this level of color. Like the message? Yeah. If you're a Disney collector, yeah, you probably want it or already have it. But I'm not sure I would go after a general Disney release again. I'd want probably something like um, the Disney with ColourPop kind of thing. This one is just a general release and you know it's not with a specific big name and that kind of thing. So yeah, I would not be chasing it down in particular. Anyway, tell me what you think. Let me know if you have the palette and what you think of it. Wherever you are on the planet, I hope you've had a good day or evening or looking forward to same. Be good.